guys, Captain Russia here. Welcome back to Factions. Thank you for joining us on this daily show. Uh, except for yesterday. Of course, we missed yesterday's episode. You guys know I barely miss an episode. I'm so sorry for that. I think it's been like once in the last three weeks. And it's just uh, Mitch and I were actually in LA and there was no time. Plus, the the ep last episode was all dedicated to Rumble and his, his abrupt leaving of the series or temporary leaving of the series and we're gonna miss him lots and I thought I wanted to make sure everyone saw that episode so there's my excuse won't happen again it will but barely barely Mitch and Mav how you doing pretty good I'm doing great doing great so of course Mav you guys know he he's been in a lot of the videos before especially in the in the last season uh everyone's gonna be like replacing Rumble replacing Mav you guys seem to love this guy he's a good guy and I just, he's going to be here a bit more. Obviously, you guys know I like uh, i like about around three people in the call. We'll also see Napkin here coming in. We even hopefully are going to see Rumble uh, keying in here and there, updating us on his secret mission that he is going about right now in the world of factions. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Tons of stuff to get caught up on. Uh, the last few episodes you guys have seen have been uh, pre-recorded. So in real time, we've missed about three or four days. So lots has happened. Good things and bad. And we're going to get right into it, everybody. Uh, but first off, we're going to roll into uh, the faction's comment of the day. Coming in from Finn Plays Minecraft. My favorite part of Rumble is when Rumble said, Hey in episode 332 which of course was the day he started so last episode i asked you guys to leave your favorite moments mitch and i left our favorite moments about rumble and uh this guy said his favorite moment was was the day rumble said hi that was pretty sad that brought back some memories and thank you for all those comments that it was just good to see everybody band together and uh just talk about our our boy rumble and uh in honor of his, his, his epic stories but moving on now, to make up for missing yesterday's episode, we're going to do a little bit of a giveaway. So, all you got to do in the comments below is leave your Minecraft username and what faction server you play on. Oh, that's it. That's it. Just on this video, leave your comment down below. And while you're down there, quickly touch that like button. Bloop. And then I will pick someone and you will get the 150 or $175 rank. I think it's 175 I was going to say 150 but 175 on whichever server you choose. Go do it right now in the comments, and you could be the winner. All right, let's move on to some faction stuff. So, Child Dolphin earlier fixed up uh, home head. You guys got to see this, dude. He, uh, he, he's erupted the crowd. Mav's going in there right now. He is, he's basically completed the build. You guys know the, the, the skull room was not completed, but now it is, and it looks freaking epic. But it's done, and this is where all the expensive heads are going to be. Ah, come up! And, yeah, I've already moved everything in here. These are all the expensive heads. And then the the random assorted heads. Mitch, you all right there? Yeah, I'm somehow burning. Hang in there, bro. I Hang in there. I didn't think I went in. <laughs> and, slow. Yeah, so let's split back and forth. Thank you, Ryan, for getting it done. There it is. There it is, baby. Well, we're tuning in on a massive cobble monster built by the man himself, Napkin of Truth. There you are on the walls. How you doing, Napkin? Oh, yeah, pretty good. Pre <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. All right, that's good. That's good. So, we are. Where are we right now, Napkin? Because uh, you've done this while I've been away. What, what went down here? What went down? Uh, Deepfield was TP trapping people here, so he kind of ticked us off. So we. Cobble monster, you had a giant hole down there. Yes. So th these walls, so first off, these walls were not here. That cobble monster was built by Napkin. This is, uh, and we'll slash F map it really quick, Divergent, which is Mark's faction, dug out this massive hole. I'm at ground level right now. And all they had was this massive hole, and it's all claimed. And what they were doing is TPing people in here, challenging them to a fight, and then no one could escape, so they'd kill them, and uh, yeah, hence a TP trap. So Napkin and the boys decided to counter this by working on a massive cobblestone monster to try and just uh, wreck this area, because of course they were thinking of making a base. And then, so what went down? So you, because the walls were not up when the co cobble monster started, so did they put them up during the monster or after? What happened? 
Uh, we filled a little bit of the hole in, and then they put the walls up the next day. And then you can see what we did to those. Okay, so they just okay, so they destroyed the so they destroyed the cobble moss that was inside, <coughs> and then they put the the walls up, and then so they also had a base, and and I didn't know they had a base. I thought they were waiting till because Mark was in LA as well, so I thought they were waiting till he got back. But you've been, they had a base set up, and was there anything in there? Because I know you've already gotten inside of this base, right? No, there was nothing in there. There was nothing in there, so. Do you think, because Mark seemed pretty confident that he was going to use this place for a base, and do you think that's still going to happen? Is it still possible for them to use this place as a base? I hope he does. It's kind of a waste. I wonder how many hours they put into building this massive thing, and now, of course, Napkin and the boys infiltrated it and, and made them suffer. But it seems, I don't know, to me it seemed like they were still going to use this thing. We'll keep an open eye out. Uh, to whatever they're planning and we'll yeah, we'll keep a close watch on it But good job napkin any anything else go on while I was gone I know there's a few things I got to talk about still throughout the episode But anything for you that you want to discuss with me before before I head out? Uh, yeah, I mean we had a base and they attacked it hyper and all them Get oh. TP and see it. Okay. So oh, oh, you're at another also oh, another base got hit. I actually didn't know this So where 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 is this was it a, a group uh, for pandemic pandemics group base or mod base? Um, Semi mod base. It was more like obby storage just chests outside the world with a big claim. Okay F map. Okay, and that's that's a new strategy too is is outside the world world chests or something, right? So some new strategy you figured out Yeah, you could push them like four blocks out of the world border and Okay. You can't go to him. Yeah, wait, <laughs> using a piston or what? Uh, yeah, you push a piston. You push a block out there with a piston and you can place a chest on top of it. Yeah, so, so new strategy apparently. Now, question, does, can TNT launch? Because, guys, if you don't, I, of course, have World Border Bypass on because of uh, the headroom. But right here is the World Border and all these chests are outside. So they didn't get any of the stuff, right, when they raided this? No, nothing at all. So, but they, they did hit the base. Dylan's been coming at us hard. And we're going to talk about that later in the video, how hard Hyper's been going at us. And we're going to get some revenge very soon, Napkin. Don't worry, dude. That little revengeful soul is going to be uh, going to be fully restored soon. So all the stuff is safe. All that gear we got from the war, we're still, we're still fairly rich, right? Oh, yeah. Nothing's ever been. Oh, it did. <laughs> there he is, Mr. Confident Napkin. That's what I like to hear. Uh, but okay, we're gonna get him back dude. I promise you we're gonna get him back So yeah things with mark are kind of on edge I wouldn't even consider him his faction themselves strong Really our challengers right now is hyper darkness and where does he even lie right Ma Mav, You've been around where is Dylan? What, what is this faction right now? Does it look uh, mass? Oh, it still is massacre. Strong. It's massacre still so he hasn't done any switching and he's working with Bionic, uh, Bionic MC, Monkeyverse MC, obviously. Is Havoc in there? Dolphin Dude is in there still. One of our arch enemies. Mon MG. So, Mon OG, sorry. I'm just trying to keep up to date because it seems like Dylan, and I'm going to point out some more stuff that has happened, is one of our main, probably is our main enemy. So, Mav, what went down while we were away? So... Oh. I didn't have a base, so I decided that I would make one myself, and I basically spent my time building this small little dispenser vault. I leave it, I claim it, uh, a radius two, I come back two days later, it's completely destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> so then I go and check YouTube, <laughs> and there's a video from Hyper Darkness, Team Nudist Rated, so I go and watch it, and there's my little vault getting blown up by a wither by Just Dylan. Just a little baby. <laughs> Just a little... <laughs> Hitting our young dude. That is what these guys have stooped to. Hitting our little bases. Taking out the the children, you could even say, the of the faction. Mav, not calling you a child. Just saying this is a... Well, that I mean, was borderline calling him a child. <laughs> it's, it's, an Im, it's, a, it's an infant base is what I'm trying to say. And they decide to strike that? That's low. Not only that, they hit our pandemic base and don't even have the audacity to take the loot. They've done too much. They've gone too far. And we're coming for you, Hyper Darkness. I know. I know they have a base. 
and it is going to be absolutely obliterated within the next couple days. Revenge is in the air. They're, they, they, they're probably feeling very confident. Oh, good old Dolphin Dude and Bionic and Hyper Darkness. They're feeling all cocky because they're getting all these offensive wins. But we'll strike back, Mav, and we're going to take back what's rightfully yours. Because I assume they took a little bit of loot from you in here. Oh, they took a lot. They took a lot of loot, dude. And, and we're going to shelter you, all right? We're gonna, you, of course, Mav's got a TP now to the, the home vault. And we're still trying to supply that, of course, after our, our old vault got raided. But Pandemic does have a bunch of extra gear uh, from the war that, that we won and they won during the war. So we'll see how it plays out, man. We're, we're coming, Hyper D. And uh, you better watch out. And as for the Big D, things are planned with him. But let's make sure they build up first. Because the, the what is it? What's the saying, Mitch? Elon Sailor? <laughs> no, no. Wait, what? <laughs> I zoned out for a sec. <laughs> no, I knew you'd say that. That's like an automatic response for Mitch. No, dude, what is what is the saying? I think it's the bigger they are, the oh, harder they fall. they fall. Mitch knew it. Wahoo. So let's let... Mr. Uh, Mr. Big D build up so we can watch him fall right back down. Uh, all right. It's barbaric. Yeah, very barbaric and gruesome. And that was all, that's all metaphorical, by the way. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Factions. Now, <laughs> I kind of updated you on a lot of the stuff. Let's let's get a little bit of action today. So our friends Delirium, one of one of our top allies. You guys know them, Sly the Sloth, uh, and. It, is it Vloni in there? No, Vloni is not in there. Sly the, Th Sly the Sloss faction. Very good pals of ours. We're raided in an extremely cheesy way. So you guys have probably heard of this before. Where you do TPA. Like, what is it? Like, you TPA accept. You tell someone to TP to you. But then, right when they're about to accept, you switch the command so that you TP to them. And they accept your TP to them. So that's what happened to Delirium from the faction called Omega. And then the Omega guy was TP'd into the base, TP'd the whole server in, and destroyed our friend's base. Lots has been happening to the New Demic Alliance recently while we've been gone, and we've got to make up for it. So, we're going to pay Omega back today because uh, little cheesy things like that uh, deserve a little slap in the face right back because that's that takes no skill. Like, maybe a little bit of skill. That's pretty fast typing, but still... That is a very cheesy way to do it. So let's head to their vault that was actually found by our good friend Bulldog Power. Thank you so much, Bulldog. It fit Guy perfectly Bulldog. today. Yeah, good job, Bulldog. And let's head there now. TPO Bulldog. It's a it's a, it's a chest vault. He's already up looting here. You guys can TP to me. Uh, it's unclaimed. Mitch, Mitch, make sure you bring some TNT, but do not light it yet, brother. All right. Uh, I'll try my best. No, no, like, do not even place it. There's no try my best. You just don't light the TNT. And don't, I don't place know, it. I don't know, though. It happens without me sometimes. Yeah, no, I because Chess set it off. Ooh, there is some unbreaking. There's some Prop 3 here, too. Grab some of the helmet. What do we got here? Prop 4 helmets. See what we can take here. Mitch! Mitch, 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 Mitch. me. It's half Bulldog. Bulldog, Bulldog, Bulldog. Bulldog. Put it down. <laughs> Put it down, kids. I need to get this loot, dude. I need to get the, grab the get at least grab the prop four before we do anything too hasty, I, cause I see prop four, baby. Oh, the prop four feels nice. Omega, oh TNT, dude. We could use their own TNT for it. They had like t twelve stacks. <laughs> Rock on, baby. Rock oh, on. They probably stole all this from Delirium, and we're taking it right back, dude. That is gonna set. Yep, set it off, dude. Who what? the heck's placed the bitch? Mitch! No. Mitch! It wasn't that bad. <laughs> what How? Who set it off? Flying. Dude, I told you. Chess oh, set trap chess. off. Yes, oh, dude. Yeah, that's my bad. I'd like to formally apologize for that one, boys. <laughs> I'm going to start my three-part apology by saying you're a really great person. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've lost weight. Yeah, well, yeah blow <laughs> up their island it. too, dude. Make this island suffer too. One of the things, uh, if, if there even is a positive about Rumble's temporary uh, leaving of the series, is we can now confirm... Pulling a Mitch will always be known as pulling Mitch moment. a Mitch. It's a Mitch moment, dude. Oops, slash eat. Buy the t-shirt. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> Mitch loves it now, dude, because he just promotes his product. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> there it is, Omega. 
suffer to us thank you so much for actually no thank i hope we'll, we'll return most of this stuff back to delirium actually because delirium is the one they're the ones who suffered from this so bulldog <laughs> i think took most of the loot or half the loot i guess because he he found the raid of course but he hit us up thank you mr bulldog and thank you for all the loot omega slash f who oh. um, actually who's online right they're cool leader slash m uh play t because i don't know I think Bulldog either saw this guy online because he found it via via the wood sky sky base looking for strategy and Mega Kid Gaming, the owner of this faction. Maybe he shared it with other people. Uh, can you come check out this base? Because I don't know if this was uh, Platy's base as well, the co-owner, or if it was just the main owners. Uh, but I can show you the guy. I think the guy who did the the cheesy raid on delirium was raise amp 24 but we couldn't get a raid on him so i thought hey let's get his boss that'll hurt just as much or that'll hurt even more because raise might get kicked out because he's the reason the boss was annihilated unfortunately this man or no man wanted to come fight us today uh he was afk or something so we got we didn't get to come up and kill him as well but i thought of a cool idea to end today's video course we're looking at the beautiful head of rumble and i thought what better place would there be to see a fight between uh in quotes one of the new members of team N nudist even though mav's been here for a while but you're gonna obviously see him a little bit more in the coming days mav versus mr mitch i would love to see this battle guys because before we all <coughs> kind of mitch i'm sorry to admit this we all kind of knew rumble could defeat mitch heck rumble could wreck me with the sword let's be honest with the bow rumble and i went back and forth mitch was always known as that guy who accidentally <laughs> blew guy. up himself at a raid you know <laughs> i didn't blow myself up at that one i was fine the one who goes to wars without armor just mitch things. Yeah. i did that once okay i Grant got the armor i forgot to put it on though <laughs> yo guys tp to me i'm gonna oh i just accidentally almost said tp here rumble oh my god that's that was really sad mav you come here too all right so we're gonna gear you up this is of course factions we're gonna gear you up in one set a piece uh unlimited gapples unlimited strengths and speeds and we're gonna have a fight to the death winner uh just gets bragging rights that's literally it uh yeah. loser will possibly be considered the the worst pvp or out of the three of us but that's have okay have to run a naked mile yeah, it has to, has to run a naked mile in Minecraft. Oh. Also uh, in Minecraft. Guys, gear up. Woo. They are both geared up. We are going to jump into Slash Fly to view this performance. Guys, before we get started, I know you probably left your comments down below already for the giveaway today. But as well, before do not hit each other once. Your guys' gear is perfectly fully restored. Do not mess with the statistics. I was actually going to do it. I know you were. I know you were. Guys. Are you team Mitch or are you team Mav? Who will win Mitch. this fight? Leave it in the comments below right now. Right now. And Hashtag guys, just Mitch. a warning. If any Hashtag of you Mav. if any of you hit the rumble head with an arrow or with a sword, you will be eliminated automatically from the Alright, it hasn't started yet. We'll uh we'll forget about that one. Three, two, one, let's get ready to rumble. That was cool. <laughs> Uh, oh, he claimed it. No. Mitch, you did not claim it, bro. <laughs> Are you? No. You just offset. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mitch, we got to get a new set of armor now, bro. Guys, this is like our third attempt. Uh, Focus up. Mitch, are you ready? <laughs> I think so. Go. Holy, we're going already, hey? <laughs> oh, oh, Mav starts up with a quick couple beats to Mitch's chest. Mitch is already speeding and strengthening. Mitch, Mitch has started very slow today. Oh, Mitch is coming back though. Oh, Mitch likes this. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. We're at a pretty even battle right now. Uh, Mitch was definitely getting out hit there at the start. So I'm saying Mav is about five hits ahead because it looks like Mitch is out hitting Mav here in the even, even battle. Actually, it's very even. It's very even indeed. Mitch, your helmet's on. No, it's not. It's still on. <laughs> <laughs> There's no set of armor yet. <laughs> Remember, guys, there is no. Oh, oh, oh! Mitch is about to get beat in the water. Rumble, Rumble's watching. Oh, Rumble's is... watching. What is that? <laughs> I'm just kind of creepy. Massive head behind us. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, it's a, it's like a very bad version of Rumble too, and it's like Rumble's already a creepy looking guy. His skin is. All right, oh. guys, Mitch is gonna need to come back here. Whoa, Mavs helmets down. Whoa, what are we looking at here? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This could be a comeback by Mr. Mitch. Who knows? Oh, Mavs gappling up with his boots down. I don't know if he can live much longer. Mav and Mitch. Mav and Mitch. Who's gonna win it? Mitch, I don't know how you came back already. Mav is still alive somehow. Mitch is gappled up. Mav's pulling out the bow. Who knew? Who would ever pull out a bow in a sword fight? Maverick would. Welcome to the team. Oh, he's going in for it, though. Oh. Boots, boots and helmet ready. Actually, not ready. They're off. Oh, pants are down, too. Oh! oh! That's my first death on the server, too. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Holy. We will burn that head. We will burn that head. Uh... GG, I don't. So what was that? Why? Why did that happen? W were you getting really out hit, Mav? Once, once I was, was out hitting him, I had no idea how that worked out. <laughs> slash F map. Did you claim something, Mitch? No, I didn't claim any of it. All what right. Was the armor? <laughs> yeah, just huh? making sure. I was, all, I was almost down on everything. Oh, were uh, you almost down? Oh yeah. Okay. No, my my boots and my helmet had ten hits left. Okay, so it was uh, a very close fight. Very, very close, close fight. Wow. Uh, some people who bet on Mav there definitely took an L. I, Mitch, I'm not going to lie. I, I was thinking Mav for that one. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see how things play out in the future in the, in the real life combat. Mitch, GG. Uh, we are going to burn that head though. Actually, can you here throw it into the fire while I explain some things? Mav head must burn. We cannot release it to the public today. The final thing, and I'm going to hint at something right now. The new Demic Alliance is extremely unstable right now i i'm gonna be extremely honest dun, we, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. we are at a point of either going up or going down and i'm not going to be public with what's going on behind the scenes and because i don't want it to actually affect anything until something happens but we are unstable and we need to deal with things appropriately or people like dylan and massacre and big d and divergent are going to take over this server and we cannot let that happen so new nemec will stay strong but again it's tough we're at an unstable stage people uh people are bickering and things need to be solved we'll get more into that later this week and also hyper darkness we're coming for you buddy seriously we're coming i hope you've all enjoyed today's episode if you did please remember to touch that like button and join the rushers by subscribing also you make sure to subscribe to these two lovely gentlemen as well hey, Mav and hey. mitch and uh leave hey. the, I've, I've already asked you a bunch of comments down below so just leave them down below tune in every single day at 7 p.m eastern and uh yeah tune into the show i'd love to see you here cranky time and mav i know you don't have one but we'll give you two tomorrow all right bro all right i want to give you a double day tomorrow fifty thousand dollars kicking it back up with crank keys and i've been looking at the server and so many people have been winning the new crate key package which is awesome congrats and thank you so much for the financial support the recent five donations to the ark are covered from gl1 limbach master grip cape boss and skizzy plays good luck on those crate keys enjoy your ranks mitch what did you win 50k boom thanks for boom. watching everybody have yourselves a beautiful day we will talk to you all later goodbye goodbye, goodbye.